she's a little bit pop and he's a little bit rock girl. Together Brooke McClymont and Adam Eckersley are a whole lot of country on their debut husband and wife album. The duo's project, simply titled Adam and Brooke, because they joke their surnames wouldn't fit on an album cover, has been 10 years in the making. They started writing together almost as soon as they started dating a decade ago, but thought a duet's album would be something they could tackle when they were 50. When Molly McClymont announced she was pregnant with her second child in August, putting the Aria-winning sisters trio the McClymonts on hold for a year, they decided to seize the moment for their collaboration. Eckersley is the meticulous master craftsman of lyrics, while McClymont brings an innate pop sensibility for melodies to his stories. We have written together before, for different projects, or just for fun for the past 10 years, he says. We're at the point now where we don't need to be polite to each other which is so helpful when you are writing. We don't get offended because there's respect there. Yo, you can cut through a heap of the bulls to say that's a really s tie idea, let's move along. Brooke is so staunch about having melody hooks and ensuring there's ear candy, it can't just be a story. It works well, we complement each other in that way. The first single train wreck may have had fans scratching their heads about the state of their union. Eckersley wrote it several years ago, when McClymont was pregnant with Tiggy, and the pair were juggling family life with touring in Australia and working in America. And that song shows our personalities if it ends, oh well, we've had a really great time.
Not that we want this to ever end. Dot, dot, a bust up in a Nashville studio resulted in Not How I Feel, a song which captures emotional battle when you are fighting with a partner and while you love them, you don't particularly like them in that moment. There are love songs that talk about the bells and whistles of love but that's easy, they're easy days to get through when you're feeling that I love you, Eckersley says. But I think the balls of a loving setup is making it through those crappy days and going you know what, I don't really like you now, but I know I love you, so I'll wait until that comes back, and I know it's coming back, because you're worth it. Dot the pair have that natural comedic back and forth of the great music duos from Sonny and Cher to Johnny Cash and June Carter. Hopefully it will spark conversations because of the honesty of it, the girl she says. Maybe it can articulate how someone else is feeling, you know what? That's what I meant to say last night.